So in this video, I'm gonna go through exactly how to give your AI voice agent a memory of the past phone calls and the customers during an inbound call. Most of the time with an outbound call, they have a memory, but for the inbound call, you need to set it up so they actually have a memory, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. And if you're probably wondering, who is this random guy? My name is John, John Joshin. I've helped over 50, close to 100 different companies in a multitude of different industries, ranging from real estate to tree companies to franchise consultants and many more. So let's jump straight into this so you can learn exactly how to set it up. So let's jump right into everything. You're gonna see in this video, I'm gonna let the AI inbound agent know information through custom values if the contact exists. And if the contact does not exist, then it's gonna go through a different script and you can utilize that to, for example, maybe collect customer information because you don't have the information. If you have the customer information, then it'll know it and it'll confirm the information. So you can utilize this in a multitude of different ways. Maybe you can use it to collect information. You can give your AI agent a memory based on custom values and memories, all these different options. But this is a simple way to do that. And I'm gonna show you right how to do it really easily. So if we go into here, this is actually just the automation. It's really easy. So we're gonna be using the server URL. So the first webhook is gonna be a server URL one. So if we go into the Vopi account, we go into the settings, and we're gonna see this server URL. So this is the URL of the Vopi server, right? And that what that is gonna be doing is every single inbound phone call, it'll send data directly through to this URL to make the call, right? So you can make the call instantly, and it, instead of it like answering right away, it'll actually send it through this make automation and you can pull information, send that to the assistant to actually start the call, right? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using assistant requests in here and then we're gonna send that to go high level to search for contacts. So for example, what this router is gonna do is does the contact exist or do they not exist, right? If they do not exist, it's just gonna send them to one of the assistants through there and that one assistant is gonna be no custom values assistant, right? So this one will be like, hey, right? It'll be no custom values because it doesn't have a memory, right? Because there was no contact ever there. If there is custom fields and there was a contact, then we can send that data through, right? So this is with custom fields, so it'll have like name, whatever other custom fields you want. And you send that directly through to here from the assistant ID. So we have assistant ID and then we use the assistant overrides on Boppy. And this can be name, email, phone. If we need more custom fields, we can have like capital on hand. Maybe you want another one that's gonna be like address. And this will be like 4557 Pine Street, for example. You can have all these different custom fields and you can send that directly through. So this is a really simple automation, but it gives your voice assistant like a memory, a past reference, knowing the contact even while they're calling, just like a regular human agent would. So if we wanna watch this actually go through, I'm gonna call. Couldn't get assistant. Either set the assistant ID oh. on the phone number. It looks like there was an error, and that's good. I always like showing people error testing. So if we look into here, the error was actually this comma. So that comma should not have been there. So now if I refresh this, run once, I'm gonna call it again. Hey, is this John? Yep, it is John. Hi John, I'm Emily, an AI voice assistant with Realty Group. And just like that, it has the memory because the contact does exist. Now, if we wanna see what happens if it does not exist, let's call it from a number that it does not know. So if I go into text now, I'm gonna pull up this, and it shouldn't have this phone number as a reference. So the phone number is right here, 248-956-6491. Hey, is this? Oh, did it have a contact? It might have. Oh yeah, there is a contact for that number. So let me do another number that it hopefully will not know. So if I go into here, I go to this, I'm gonna choose this number, 248-956-6491. And I'm gonna run once again, one last time. 
They won't know this number. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing well, thanks. Who am I speaking with today? You're speaking with John. And you see how the flow of the conversation, so that one, it didn't know the contact, so it asked, who am I speaking with? The one that it knew the contact, it was like, hey, John, how are you doing? Right? And this is just kind of how you can collect data if needed, don't collect data if not needed, all these different variations that you can use to customize it and improve the efficiencies of your bots. So after watching that video, you should have a clear understanding on exactly how to set up this inbound agent with a memory of the past calls, maybe even the contact information or any other information that you need the AI to know, right? And if you want this template or any other of my templates, then definitely join in this community right here. The link is in my, in my bio of the YouTube channel. You can join in, take, get access to all of my templates and you get everything. We're gonna give you go high level snapshots, Voppy blueprints, web snippets, an AI auto rebilling system, make automation, some prompting, knowledge based systems, copywriting messages, YouTube templates for all the YouTube videos. We also have twice a week training calls where I'll hop on personally and give you one on one support in those training calls just to help you out.